And via Roscosmos Television, you can see uh, the Soyuz descending under its main parachute. That uh, white vapor that you see venting is normal. That white vapor is a combination of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen venting into the air. This is uh, deliberate uh, to safe the vehicle for landing so that no hazardous gases remain in the tanks when the soft landing engines fire about two seconds before the vehicle touches down. Once again, uh, a good view, a clear sky over the landing site on the south central steppe of Kazakhstan. Touchdown expected 12 minutes from now. On Paris, 61, go ahead. On Paris, on Paris, we can see you under the parachute. Okay, the offset of five kilometers, five seconds, and we are good. We are feeling good. Copy on Paris. The pressure in the uh, landing area is 731, copy, 731. There is the uh, jettisoning of the heat shield right on time. This uh, exposes uh, the altimeter that feeds information into the Soyuz computers about uh, how high up uh, the Soyuz is as it descends under its parachute. Landing schedule just under 10 and a half minutes from now. It also exposed uh, the soft landing engines, which will fire about two seconds before touchdown in a final braking maneuver. Less than 10 minutes until touchdown, everything looking very good. And the sound you hear is a radio beacon signal that is being uh, received from the Soyuz, basically uh, another form of uh, communications capability to uh, enable the uh, search and recovery forces to precisely pinpoint where the Soyuz is descending to for its touchdown point with landing now scheduled nine minutes from now. Crew reporting they feel healthy. Unintelligible.
Less than eight minutes until touchdown. The Soyuz continues a perfect descent under a cloudless sky on the steppe of Kazakhstan, some 91 miles to the southeast of the town of Jezkazgan. Coming up six and a half minutes until touchdown. Very stable Soyuz vehicle under uh, its main parachute. Rosaviatsa search and recovery forces are in the area. They are circling uh, around the vicinity of the landing zone. Before long, within the next uh, couple of minutes or so, you'll be able to see helicopters in the field of view in close proximity, but not very close to the Soyuz spacecraft as they keep tabs on its descent uh, for its touchdown. That's expected uh, at 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time. Now five minutes until touchdown. All of the uh, events to this point have been uh, conducted uh, in flawless fashion. The uh, closing of the hatch, the undocking of the Soyuz from the Prashal module, and the deorbit burn a short time ago, enabling uh, the Soyuz to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere as planned, heading for its landing site on the south central steppe of Kazakhstan. Antares search and rescue team. 18, 80, unintelligible. The uh, search and recovery forces now have established voice contact with the uh, Soyuz. We can see, uh, you know, uh, somebody is following us, above us. Three and a half minutes until touchdown. A nice steady entry by the Soyuz vehicle, continuing uh, to uh, descend back to Earth to wrap up more than a year in space for Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub, and uh, 184 days in space for Tracy Dyson.
just two minutes until touchdown. The uh, search and recovery forces, the Russian Mi-8 helicopters. Uh, we are crossing 1,000 meter mark. And you can hear uh, that uh, from Oleg Kononenko through the interpreter. Less than a thousand meters until touchdown. Uh, All of the uh, search and recovery force helicopters are in position, circling uh, the landing zone, waiting for the touchdown. At which point they uh, will begin to uh, land in sequential fashion, so that uh, the uh, safing of the vehicle and the extraction of the crew can get underway. Six or eight, are you uh, observing me to the right at two o'clock? Less than a minute until touchdown. This is four, five, one, three hundred meters. Three hundred meters off the deck. At this point, uh, the three crew members will be bracing for touchdown. Unintelligible. Touchdown. Right on the money. A textbook touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.59 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. Tracy Dyson is home after 184 days in space. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub are home after 374 days in space, a record for an International Space Station mission.